Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the number one place for people who love design, art, and all things creative. I'm Jacqueline and I'm an interior architect and designer here at DNB. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you organizational hacks for the home that have certainly made my life easier. I'll hold my hands up and admit that I may be a bit too obsessed with tidiness and organization. But I know that if you're watching this video, it probably means that you are too. So we can be crazily organized together. I thought that I'd show you some small organizational hacks for each room of the house and also some larger solutions for those of you wanting to just take it that step up and make your home even more functional. So if you're interested, let's jump in. Okay, so let's start off with one of the most important rooms in my house and that is the kitchen. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you'll already know how much of a food lover I am and that I love to cook all the time. It just gives me time to relax at the end of the day and it's just something that I find really therapeutic. But I like everything to be in a particular place just so that I know where everything is and so that I don't have to stress about where my ingredients are before I start to cook. And one thing that was driving me crazy was where I kept my spices. Previously, I had kept them all on a cupboard shelf and it was so chaotic, it was so hard to find anything I needed. So to organize them, I bought this rotating spice rack that fits in my cupboard and now contains all of my spice jars. Because we have a relatively small kitchen, I didn't want to buy one of those traditional spice racks as that would have taken up a lot more counter space. So the rotating tower spice rack is really useful to me because it fits perfectly in my cupboard and I put all of my most used spices on the top shelf and less frequently used on the bottom just so I can access them quicker. Another kitchen organization idea I have is to purchase one of these small pantry racks that I fit in a cupboard. I use this all the time. I put my onions and potatoes in there as well as some other dry ingredients. It's really good for things like that because they need to be stored in dark places and I just like how it easily separates the different food items. You can also get different variations like smaller wire baskets are also great or if you have a slightly bigger kitchen then these wire shelves can house so much stuff and also make your space look like a professional chef's kitchen. I have to admit that I am a massive tea lover. Both Laszlo and I drink a lot of tea, whether it's herbal or just a classic British tea. And a while ago, we had built up quite a big collection and it started to take over the kitchen cabinet. So I fixed that by buying one of these tea caddies. What do you guys call it? Because here in the UK, we call it a tea caddy. When I bought this, Laszlo thought it was the silliest thing I'd ever bought, but I can honestly say that it's been so handy and he uses it every day too, so. Now when I buy tea, I place all of the bags into the different compartments and then recycle the boxes. This is a really great space saving hack. Unfortunately, there is a crack on it because of course, me being me, as soon as it arrived, I cracked it by accident straight away. So my bad on that one. Like a lot of you, we also have a dishwasher that we just dump our plates into, but sometimes you just need to scrub that little bit extra by hand to get rid of those crusty bits that just won't go away. And this little sink caddy is perfect for organizing your washing up liquids, scourer and sponges. It just keeps everything tucked away nice and neatly, but it's also practical as it has this underneath tray that collects excess water, making sure that it doesn't leak and damage your countertops. It comes apart easily, making it easy for you to clean every once in a while too. Mine is plastic too, which is perfect for something like this, as the metal ones do rust over time, so just bear that in mind. Now time to talk about the pièce de résistance of the kitchen, the fridge. I hope that it's not just me that looks at Pinterest and types in fridge inspiration and gets sucked into that never-ending scroll. Honestly, I feel like I could do a whole video on fridge organization, but let's keep it quick for now. For the past couple of months, I've been using these plastic fridge containers to separate everything in this mini fridge in my kitchen. I like to keep fruit in this one, any kind of snack in the smaller tray, which just happens to be chocolate, and dairy in this bigger tray. I like to keep my food in different groups just so that I know where things are. And you can, of course, buy more trays for absolutely everything in your fridge, but anything that's bigger like these yogurts, I just leave out on their own. 
I really like these plastic trays because I can easily pull them out using the lip edge here and slide it back into the fridge. And they're also great for if there's any leakages, the plastic can be cleaned effortlessly rather than me having to spend half an hour cleaning each shelf of the fridge. The top shelf of the fridge is where I keep all of our leftovers and I have to tell you guys that one of my biggest pet peeves is trying to find a lid for one of these black containers. It drives me insane. So to stop that from happening, I bought a set of four of these glass food storage containers and I can honestly say that this has made my life so much easier. Like I said, I usually use them for leftovers, but this week I thought I would meal prep for the weekdays just to make it easy for me to heat up dinner. So right now they contain a delicious cabbage soup. The lid snaps into place like so, and then the food can be easily put away. Really simple, but such an effective storage hack for me. They are microwave, freezer, oven and dishwasher safe. Also because they're glass, they're also BPA free, which of course is much better for our health. Like a lot of you during the past two years, Laszlo and I also work from home and we spend about 80% of our time in our home office space. And one organizer I use every day is this letter holder rack. Of course, normally it's used for letters, but I find it really handy as a pen holder. Usually you'll see this round cylindrical storage used for pen collections and I just kind of find it a bit messy. Well, not messy, but I just think that this letter holder is much neater and I can still reach my pens fast. If you're really struggling for space and want to maximize on your desk area, think about getting one of these laptop shelves. The best thing about this is that it gives you a lot more room than before and things can be stored underneath and on the unit effortlessly. I actually got this one for Laszlo and he kind of likes a minimal look, which is why I got this one. But you can also find ones with lots of different compartments and smaller storage spaces if you want even more desk organization. Now, I'm someone that loves collecting jewellery and makeup, even though I already have way too much of it, you best believe I'm going to keep buying it. And just with any of these smaller items, they can get lost, but also they can be really hard to find if they're just shoved into a bag for storage. So I have this two-tier plastic drawer storage for my lip gloss and lipsticks, and all of my eyeshadow palettes just sit on top. I bought this from Ikea years ago, and to be honest, I could do with buying one more. <laughs> I like it because it keeps my makeup tidy and I know where everything is meant to be. One of the most annoying things is when you spend hours trying to detangle necklaces that have caught on to each other. So one way to make sure that you don't waste your time doing that is by using a jewellery stand. Now I keep smaller daintier jewellery in a drawer but for heavier pieces I use this brass three tiered tree. I have my bracelets on the bottom rack and then necklaces on the other two. I just find that it organises everything really well and strangely I also kind of like it as a decor item for my room too. It's definitely a must have item for those of you who are jewellery lovers. If you're like me, I don't have a huge amount of time to clean and tidy my house. Usually I clean once a week on a weeknight, but if I don't have time to do a deep clean, I just like to make sure that everything's tidied and put away instead. And something that I think is one of the most beneficial hacks for organisation is by using boxes. I can't even tell you how many I have, but I use box storage for absolutely everything. Beauty products, my bedside table, organizing smaller bags for shoe storage, more spices, art equipment, magazines, and the list goes on and on. By using decorative boxes, you can literally hide things in them, which trust me, is the most efficient way to tidy up a space as quick as possible. Maybe you're also thinking about implementing larger storage solutions into your home. In which case, think about architectural features that can be used for organization. Like transforming your unused staircase space as underneath storage, or perhaps a wine cellar instead or maybe a peg wall for a clever wall storage solution. We also have these cabinets beside our bathtub that we hide our cleaning products in, which really makes the bathroom feel neat and tidy. Think about the areas that aren't used in your home and how you can transform them into organizational storage spaces, because I really believe that a tidy home equals a tidy mind. In our busy, hectic lives, we really don't need to be spending hours looking for shoes or rummaging through cabinets, which is why I love organization, because it makes all these things really accessible and just super convenient. 
If you guys want more advice, I have a whole playlist of home decor and interior design tips, so I'll leave it linked down below for you. And if you're new to our channel, then I just want to say welcome. On the channel, we talk about interior design, home decor, and so much more cool creative stuff. So if any of that interests you, make sure to subscribe to see videos just like this one. Leave me some kind of organization emoji down below to let me know that you guys enjoyed this video or learned something new. And if you liked it, then please give it a big thumbs up because by doing that, you actually really help our channel to reach even more people. Okay guys, I hope that you found my organizational hacks useful and let me know if you decide to use them in your home. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.